It is a raw emotional depiction of the death of George Floyd. I wanted to make a painting out of it where I could compress the horror into a single instant. Painted by New York artist Don Perlis and turned into a billboard by a group called the George Floyd Justice Billboard Campaign. It was prominently displayed in Times Square. Just to show the humanity of it. And also that's the thing that reaches everybody, in fact, is the humanity of it. And it was also all set to be displayed January in downtown Minneapolis, where four former police officers are set to stand trial in March for killing Floyd. The designer had already sent the artwork and it was almost, it was either at the printer or else being sent to the printer. Then Thursday, Clear Channel, the owner of the billboard, emailed Perlis, quote, unfortunately, after going through our PR team, your bulletin design has been rejected because it depicts acts of violence. I apologize for the inconvenience. Is there another image, maybe just of George Floyd, that you can switch out the image for? I was completely astonished by it because we had been, she had, it's been approved over and over again. If anything, the painting is sad, uh, you know, on a human level, very sad. And it's an interesting issue. Because Twin Cities defense attorney Joe Tamburino believes the billboard downtown would lead to the officer's lawyers asking the trial to be moved or at least cause the judge to sequester the jury. These jurors would see that billboard every day when they come to the courthouse, when they leave the courthouse. Of course, it would be a reminder, and it, and it obviously is a very, um, you know, moving picture. But the same billboard has also been approved by another company, Outfront Media, for a different Twin Cities billboard, located on I-494 in Plymouth for January. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News. Clear Channel did not respond to our request for comment.